what's up youtube family today we're back with another vlog today we are going to be changing the brake master cylinder on the 350z there goes the brake master cylinder i went and i purchased another one and we're going to be replacing it today i'm going to take you step by step of what i'm doing so the first thing you're going to want to do is open the cap and remove whatever brake brake fluid you have inside there the reason for that is because when you disconnect these lines you're going to have brake fluid all over the car on the floor everywhere so try to remove as much as we can I'm not going to be using this again, so I'll put it inside this bottle. Once we've taken as much brake fluid as we can, we start disconnecting some things. All right, so I disconnect that first, set it to the side. And then after that, I'll start working on the lines. As you can see, we have two lines right there. Start working on those lines, and after I work on the lines, I'll take that bolt out, and that bolt out right there, and the brake master cylinder will pop right out. Now for this, it's a half inch for these lines. Now, normally you'd use a different type of wrench. I'm not sure of the name, but it does hook a little bit more. I don't have it at the moment, but I'm gonna try this. If it doesn't work, then I'll take a quick run to the hardware store and I'll make sure I have the proper tool, but this may just work. Reason being for the other tool, because with, with this, you have a chance of stripping it and we don't, know, we don't wanna do that. So it didn't work with this half inch, but Luckily, I had a crescent wrench and it worked. So I already loosened up the lines a little bit, which I can pretty much do it by hand now. So I'm gonna leave that there. Well, let me loosen this up just a bit more. But guys, like I stated, I do recommend you guys use the proper tools for this, which I don't have, but it did work. I would have ran to the hardware store if this didn't work, but it did. So now I'm going to be looking for the proper bolts to take that off right there. So let me go grab that, I'll be right back. So for the two bottom bottom bolts, it is a 12 mil, whoops, sorry, a 12 millimeter, okay? Not the best of angles, but it is working. Okay, that side is loose. Now let's get to the other side. Okay, I'm going to get a longer extension. Which I have here already. if 
that works. Just so I can go underneath the lines. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna disconnect the lines and hopefully nothing spills out. If it does, I'll just put it right back in. So yes, as expected, it definitely is flowing out. Okay, so I'm going to figure out something and I'll get right back to you. So what I'm gonna do in this particular case is, I got myself a little cup. I'm gonna put the cup and hold it underneath and let it drain out. Then once it drains, I'll just let it sit at the bottom until I take the brake cylinder out. And then I'll remove it. So hopefully it's not too much. There it goes, draining out. All right, once you break them free, you can pretty much take them off by hand. So I got this side. Put the bolts where you're not going to lose them. Put the edge right there. Put the extra light here. Okay, now I'm grab the other one with your fingers. So that's pretty much it, guys. You have two lines and you have two bolts. Make sure you take the lines out first because it's going to be hard to, you know, have this loose and out and take those lines out because you can break those lines. All right. So make sure you disconnected everything and now it should just pull right out. Little tug, little jiggle and it should come right up just like this. And that's what it looks like. Still leaking, all right. Put it, sit it on the floor, get a rag so I can clean what just spilled a little bit on the car. Cause as I said, that will eat through the paint. So now we have the room, I can take this out and clean up whatever spilled down there. And this will be garbage. All right, so this is the new brake master cylinder. You can see it looks fresh. They had given me the wrong one yesterday, so I had to switch it and I had to wait for today for the new one. So this is the new one. And basically the way I'm gonna do this is I'm going to put it in I'm gonna put the lines in uh, ever so gently, just, you know, just, you know, hand tighten. And then I'm gonna apply some pressure on the brake. And then I'm gonna tighten them and release the pressure. And I'm gonna do that about five times just so to release the air. I don't have a bench to, to do that, to do it that way. So I'm gonna do it this way and it should work. I'm gonna start out by removing the bolts that I put in yesterday. Start by removing these two bolts so I can put this in. One there, one here. Put those to the side really quick. cylinder. I'm gonna pop it inside there. All right, beautiful. Tighten, put the screws on. This one side, now the other side's a little tricky. I'm gonna make this easier for myself. 
and remove this like I did yesterday. There we go. Oh, excuse that. Tighten that up. Okay, now let me get the number 12 fitting millimeter socket. Now, tighten it up. Not so much space in here, so it's a little tricky, but I'll get it. This is just the way I'm doing it, guys. If you guys have a bench, you guys can bleed it on the bench. But I don't, unfortunately. Nice and tight. Okay, that's one. Okay. Now, for this one, I have to take the extension off because, well, will it reach? Let's see. Oh, a little bit too tight there. Okay. Those are that's on, and that's not going anywhere. Apply the fittings on the side. The fittings on the So guys, I'm gonna take you through a quick process of what I'm doing. Filled up the reservoir. Now, um, loosen up the lines again, because I've already done it a few times. So, careful not to strip it. So loosen up the lines. Not too loose, but, but loose. This one I'm having an issue with. I should have got the proper tool, so kind of stripping it, but it's kind of too late now. So. Try to grab it in the correct place so it don't continue. All right, so there you go, it opened up. Nice. Give it a few more turns. So just a repetitive process. Make sure these are pretty loose, but not too loose. You know, not dripping everywhere, but you can have a little slow drip. Then, enter the vehicle. And since I'm working by myself, what I'm doing is, let me show you, using a two by four. So I'm putting the two by four there, and another two by four to support the seat. Put that in there, and then just slide your seat on forward until it stops. There we go. Now, once that happens, then I'll come over here and tighten the lines back up again. Do as much as I can with my fingers first. Then tighten them back up. All right, that one's nice and tight. Again, I have to be careful with this one since I didn't have the proper tool, so I am stripping it. Okay, and then when you're done with that and they're nice and tight, then you go back into the vehicle and remove it. This way no air gets in the system. There you go. And then repeat over and over and over and do this about 
I'm gonna say five, six, seven, eight times, depending, you know? And then after that, you, you, you bled it, and you should be good to go. You should have a, uh, a stiff uh, pedal. All right, guys. So after bleeding the, the brake uh, master cylinder, um, doing all the things that I showed you with the brake pedal, then after that, I bled the brakes all around, you know, started from the furthest of the brake cylinder, which would be the rear right. Then I went to the rear left, then to the front right, to the front left. Now we have super duper strong brakes. All right, so it should be like that. See, can't, that's it, that's all I can go. Can't go no more. Super tight. You want to start the car? Look. So guys, I hope this video helped everyone. If it did and you guys enjoyed it, please subscribe, comment, and like. And I'll see you guys in the next vlog. Have a good day, all. Peace.